the battle. The battle is actually in your head. You're not going to hear noises. You're not going to hear gunfire. You're not going to hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness and laziness. And they're not attacking. They're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're gonna do it this time. And this time I'm serious and this time I'm for real and I'm gonna get it done. Except you're not and you know you're not. And if you really want it to change and if you really wanna make a change and you really wanna be different and you really want it to be this time, start fucking now. The only reason they have already put their cap on their success in life. And that's why most people aren't sitting where you're sitting, they're sitting where I'm sitting. You never capped yourself, you might have. And if you did, you took it off. People cap themselves. They look at somebody and because their mind can't imagine it, they then start talking. This, he has to be doing this, he has to be doing that, there has to be some trick, there has to be some potion. This is bullshit. No, it's because you cannot allow your mind to open up for the possibility of it can be done. Which is why you, you being people, are where they are today. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves, I'm going to start Monday, Never can start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Because you have not, you've shackled your mind to have limits. And everybody has a limit. But find it first. You got a limit? I haven't found it yet. Oh, yeah. I haven't found it yet. It's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you. Every single day, if you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Nobody control your mood. You saw something that threw you off, well, see something that throw you back on. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop thinking and actually start doing it. Because all the research shows that if we can push you to get started on something, you'll likely keep going. Little things you're putting off, do it. And right now, when you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. Just commit that you wake up and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be something that is inconvenient for you to work through. There's always going to be a busy schedule. It's always going to be that way. You have to f***ing work through it. There's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. And unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't going to make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're going to create automatic winning.